Hi, I am Kelly Mae Krenz and I'm a designer with Free Spirit Fabrics. So I am here to introduce myself to you and give you just a little bit of a look into who I am and why I love designing fabric. So my background is that I graduated college with a degree in fine arts and graphic design. And I have forever, ever, ever since I was a little girl, loved design. I love design, I love color, I love texture, and I really have always adored fabrics. Like I started literally when I was a little girl, I would make complete little quilts and bedding and entire rooms for my Barbie. And they were good. Like I wish I still had them or had pictures at least, right? I have always designed for Fortune 500 companies and I've lived all over many, many states. And I now live in a small little historic river town called Galena, Illinois, which is kind of about three hours from Chicago. So that's me. And I live in what was once a church built in 1838, which is now a house. And we are on the third level, my studio, and it used to be where the choir would sing. So I think that's pretty cool too. My new line, Boho Blooms, is all centered around little bits of things and magic that I love. I've always adored flowers. I grew up with my mom having really sweet gardens and my neighbor Dorothy having beautiful gardens. So I've always been able to pick little tiny bouquets to big bouquets and forever I have been enamored with every little part of a flower. Now I have turned to like painting and illustrating flowers and having a complete ball doing so. And I hope that my enthusiasm for the love of flowers and gardens and storytelling, I hope that you can see how it all comes together in my new collection, Boho Blooms. Now I'm not your traditional quilter, but I do so every single day. I'm going to hold up just a little piece, um, it's actually getting bigger, of what I've been just kind of creating on slowly by taking bits and pieces of fabrics and bringing them together with threads, with beads and love, and turning it into my version of quilt, which of course I will do with Boho Blooms. I'd like to tell you a little bit about this collection and how it kind of worked for me as an artist. I started with paintings, some of them are behind me, and all of my work is done by hand and then taken into the computer. So everything starts out with either pen and ink or an actual painting like what's behind me, and then I get it to go into the computer where I can manipulate and play with it. I usually don't change colors a whole lot in my paintings. Um, once it gets to the computer, it's usually perfect if it's just high res and goes with that. I do want to tell you one thing I'm very excited about, and that is I have a black and white fabric that's a story, one little story that repeats several different ways so that you can mix it within this whole body and create your own story. And I am super excited to say that I love pen and ink brush by hand. So everything is illustrated, all of the lettering, all illustrated by me, it's not a font. And I just love how it turned out. I'm really excited. And when you take all of these fabrics and put them together, no matter how you cut them, no matter big, little, how you crop them, some sort of magic comes through with the fabric. Somehow you get, even if you get a wee bit of a stem or a flower or a word or a texture, it's all completely cool. So I know that this is going to be an awesome, awesome line for you to have and to create. I also have, which I offered with my first collection, Spirit of the Garden, I have a panel of postcards. Yeah, they're fabric postcards, which is perfect. You can write on them, stitch them, embellish them, and send them in the mail. How cool is that? I know, right? Snail mail, and you can send it off, and it's just like sending more goodness and joy 
into the universe, which I think is very fun. I also want to mention that I am a big mixed media artist and I really enjoy using the fabrics, both that I design and found fabrics and other designers that I adore in creating journals, in creating pillows, in creating window treatments, anything I can dream to sew up. I'm really good at drawing my own patterns and making up patterns. So I like to explore and just be inventive and see what I end up with. Nothing's really perfect, but to me, perfectly imperfect is perfect. So with that said, I'm looking forward to showing you each of the fabrics that make up my collection of boho blooms. And I hope that you will be as inspired and as excited and truly love the variety of color, pattern, and texture and tell your own stories using my fabric line. Thanks. I thought that it would be fun to show you how I start my art and then go to seeing the Boho Blooms collection. So this is a rather large painting that I've done that has just a whole bunch of texture and line work and color. And this is a second painting that I've done. And the idea is to show you how I start my collection, any collection, and how all of these shapes become really integral parts of each panel of fabric. I also do a great deal of illustrating, as I had mentioned before, with like pen and ink and a brush. And then those are scanned into my computer so that I can make repeats, add color, have background kind of fun shapes. And I do just like dozens and dozens of flowers and stems and words, and then I go back, I scan them all in, and then I go back and decide if I'm gonna use it, if I'm not gonna use it. So all of these pieces aren't necessarily used in every, with this Boho Bloom collection, but they all start out as a possibility. And I find that if I play on paper, play with paintings, and by play I mean just create within the realm of thinking boho blooms, that I end up with much more fresh and interesting and inspired and all around more fun art. And that ends up being really cool fabric for you. I also do just a whole bunch of random smaller paintings tonal paintings that can go in for background. And that's this kind of little condensed version of how I would start. Now on a couple of my patterns, I've taken and I've hand carved a stamp that would then be stamped and scanned in the computer. And I can show you how this shows up in one of our prints, actually two of our prints. And then in speaking to the black and white that I said was all hand illustrated by me in pen and ink, this is how that started out. And you can see kind of up close that it's all just really wonderful, wonderful words about blooming and positivity and light and petals. Okay, so I'm super excited to unveil my Boho Bloom collection. Sorry for that little paper noise. Starting with poppies. Look, isn't it just so pretty? There's so many great textures. You can see the wonderful leaves that I pulled out of that big painting that I showed you. 
can kind of start seeing how they all start telling stories. We've got some really great chartreuse greens and kind of muddy golden browns and just really vibrant blues with the darker indigo blues. Super, super rich and pretty. Another thing I love about this collection is that no matter where you were to cut it as a quilter or a fabric artist, and that would mean like if you're doing mixed media art, quilting, sewing a cute skirt with pockets and all kinds of interesting little details, no matter where you cut these fabrics, you're gonna end up with something beautiful and some kind of really interesting, lovely pattern. And I love that about this line. So this is Poppies. This one is called Prairie. And I really, really think it is so wonderful. It has really nice, kind of almost like a bamboo shoot line go through with this really nice, it's not really a, a pale yellow, but it's more like a morning sun yellow with the really rich tomato-y red and pink. And I just think this is so pretty. This would be so beautiful, even if you took and like made pillows. I mean, the imagination's crazy, but you can see how these patterns will start really giving you just beautiful, beautiful quilts and a beautiful display in your store as well with some baskets and pretty things around. This is the Storyteller and this is the one that I mentioned uh, that I showed you how it started with the hand on type and I really enjoy having this black and white as a part of my Boho Blooms line and I just it's set up so you can use it any which way direction. I think that it would be super fun if you just cut out little squares and use them as embellishments, maybe on different parts of your quilt. But I really love having this black and white. I think it's, it's super cool and it looks great with other pieces. They all look so good together. Now this one is like a super personal fave and it's called Wildflower. I love wildflowers. I love just driving down a country road and seeing beautiful wildflowers. And I guess maybe some people can think some wildflowers are weeds, but to me they're all beautiful. And this one is a combination of an acrylic painting, then my pen and ink, and has a really cool indigo background, some of that great muddy, murky, gorgeous, golden brown, and I love the white pops. And again, just revisiting to show you how well they all blend together. I mean, this would be just a stunning quilt. I think it would be absolutely gorgeous, and I cannot wait to see the quilts that are made from these fabrics. I'm really proud of this collection. It's dear to my heart because I absolutely love gardening and flowers and telling the stories of how just nature can inspire us. Now this one is kind of your, like a neutral to mix in and it's called Raining Petals. And it is just a sweet, sweet pattern with your tomatoey reds, the pink, the yellows, and of course the white and pale pinks. A really good blending fabric, works really well, of course, with all of them, but would be so pretty as a nice mix. Marigold Path. Marigolds are some of my absolute favorite flowers. I love the smell. They remind me of my childhood. They remind me of like grandma's garden and I just really love them. So basically what I did for this one is had the background be the marigold color, then a little bit of a petal kind of coming in in that, that kind of rusty brownish color and then taking the petals and making them just a wee bit more like 
abstracted bigger so you could really enjoy them and then having a little pink center I just thought that was a really pretty way of handling a marigold also I think it's super sweet that we have these little illustrated leaves that are pulled out on the salvage because those would be fun to use and mix in your quilts and your art this one is super cool and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and make a really great summer skirt. I love this. I love, love, love this. I love them all. I'm, I'm really feeling proud of this collection and I hope that my, can, my enthusiasm is contagious to you because I really just am crazy that I love this so much. This one again is called Blue Vases and it's on, the color is just fabulous, and the background has a really pale pink little trellis that goes on and on behind each one. And again, the pattern is made such that it can go pretty much any way you'd like it to. And look how wonderful it goes with Gypsy Soul. I know. So this is kind of a reddish coral and it is called Gypsy Soul. And this one, of course, I just am crazy about too. And these all started with little stamp carvings that I then scanned in and took some of my illustrations and made them become part of this Boho Bloom floral family. This I think is going to be a true crowd pleaser. It's called Dancing Light and I truly feel like this has such vibrancy and, and beauty in the colors. Again bringing in that indigo blue. A lot of the washes of paint marks are coming in here. And I just think this one is just a really an, another really great floral. And again with the little salvaged tiny leaves. This one is called Fields because I live in like prairie land in Illinois and this is where this pattern that I showed you earlier, this is where that grid came into play along with some illustrated flowers that I had done. And I love the green because it speaks so well with all of these fabrics and it just would make such a pretty pretty story and a pretty quilt. I think all of these are 12 in the skew, 12 skews, so 12 in the family of boho blooms. I think having all of these just as a display in your shop or would be just amazing. Again, this is scattered bouquets because what's better than having a small bouquet that's beautiful and taking the pinks, that tomatoey red, the little bouquets, all so pretty, just really pretty. So I was going to try to quickly just show you when you lay them out how they just start really telling such a beautiful color story with pattern and blooms. And no matter where you cut these fabrics, you end up with beautiful, beautiful pieces to play with. And there's such a great selection of color and pattern and here comes poppies again. Love poppies. So pretty with all of this. Just beautiful. And then our storytelling. Yes. So let's look at the postcard panel, which is a super fun addition to my line. And let me show you how those look. So they have all these little bits of my art and words. 
all on positivity and like tiny seeds grow big dreams you make the world a better place so how sweet to make a quilt or a pillow or something to give a friend and cut these out right on the little stitch line stitch them up put that as a little tag on your quilt if you would um, these can all be used in any way you see fit but these postcards you just cut out you could use any of my other fabrics as the backing if you wanted to put a little something to kind of give it a little bit of thickness between and then fill it out and then your message on the other side could simply be one of these little pieces and boom take it to the post office have it hand stamped shows you exactly where your stamp should go and boom, you're sending happy snail mail out into the world, which is always a good thing. So I'm excited, I'm delighted, I'm thrilled to have Free Spirit Fabrics support and enjoy my world of creating my art, and I'm thrilled to be sharing this with you. This collection will ship in September, so it would be a really good idea to call your, your representative and who you work with or just call Free Spirit Fabrics and ask for Boho Blooms because I think that having this collection in your world is going to be a really beautiful, beautiful addition to your quilting world. I am incredibly grateful that you're here and thank you for watching my video and thank you for letting me tell my story with you.